Hello my fellow gamers and going medieval fans. Per your suggestions and requests, I have turned my previous non-voiced playthrough into the second voiced let's play. I will continue to play it until game over or you decide I should start a new village. This one is on the valley map on the survival mode with 6 starting villagers where the plan is to build separate structures and a main multi-storied keep. During this episode I start to prepare for winter by stocking food, closing off my open buildings, adding new rooms for workshops and the kitchen. I also complete my lower level food basement to keep all my meals at and turn the old one into a grand hall. There are multiple interesting things which happened during this 7th episode. I accidentally trap animals for food, use your tips to improve my village, villager schedule and defenses and discover some bugs as well as how to fix them. And so it is high time this village gained a voice. Currently these folks are going to sleep while I prepare my plans for the future. First of all, because I have finished building, well, almost finished building this temple over here, the Restitutionist Temple. I think it just needs one more bookshelf. Well, it's not a bookshelf, it's a Church of Restitution Vault Decoration. Once that's finished, this will become a Temple of Restitution and I can easily and should deconstruct this one so that they will pray at the temple and not at this shrine. Secondly, there is one thing I forgot to do is to add some more wall decorations here for this room because it needs to become a workshop and therefore I need some tools. So I will place some here and some here and this is going to be a place where I'm going to be building items just like I am doing here. As you can see this is a workshop and up here I also have this workshop. One thing that I need to also continue doing in this village I need to actually deconstruct these two as well because the stability is provided by this and this because these are four so four stability three two one four stability three two one so no need for these I only needed them while I was building this as I was trying to say there are some items left over which need to be picked up and carried over here and I do need to plan out the future part of this village because this here my battle keep is probably going to need an upgrade I am going to need to start getting more limestone and then making more bricks out of it. Wait, how are they suffering from cold? Oh right, because I haven't placed anything to heat this room up, so I will need some braziers and I should have clay for them. I do, although I can make nicer ones if I have some clay bricks, so I'll pick those. I could also make these iron ones. Do I have iron? I have 58 iron. I could make these. I never made these before and I think... Well, they don't really fit the wooden building, but I have never made them before, so I would like to have some of them now. Actually, no, I'll use... No, I can't use that spot. I think I can build it there and there. And two should be enough for this room to keep them warm while they sleep. It is something that I've forgotten because autumn is really ahead. Already three days in autumn and yeah, they're getting cold when they're sleeping. So with that fixed, as I said, I need to plan out the future expansion for this village. And it is something I talked about in my guide for village design. I said that this village here with these separate buildings, I didn't even have this one while I was talking about that, but I wanted to add a huge keep over here, like a five, six story keep. And for that to build it and to keep it away from being destroyed by raiders, I am going to make it out of bricks. And that material requires one villager at least, doing a lot of production of limestone bricks and then I need a lot of limestone as a raw resource. I have a spot here where I'm digging it, well I continue dig it and then I also have, let me just see which one of these, yeah these can be dug next. I also have a spot here, it's night so it's kind of hard to see but here it is, a lot of limestone is right here and I'm going to dig that out and it's going to be kind of a basement for the keep. So it's two stones with it's two stones with one bird. Oh my god. It's two birds with one stone that I'm going to be able to do here because I'll dig a basement and in doing so dig the materials necessary for building that keep. Now having just one limestone brick production place is probably not going to cut it. So I'm going to see where can I fit one more. I think it can easily fit here, but I will need to then shorten this down like this. And then I will put another of these, which are the stone mason's benches right here. And then I'll have one or two villagers doing that so I can have enough bricks to actually make that keep. I mean, it doesn't cost that many bricks. It is just five limestone bricks for a wall piece, but I do only have 120 so far 
So yeah, it will take a while to have enough for an actual keep. I'm going to do some of the inner parts of it with wood and other materials, but the outer layer has to be with bricks so it will have high HP. Now it's become a workshop. Which one has become a workshop? This one with the blacksmith forge. Excellent. And I hope they've actually taken these. No, they haven't. Who is free enough to take those items? Where are you going currently? You are going here to pick up the food and carry it over down there. Because if I remember correctly, I disabled this place from having meals so that the meals would go here in my underground third level basement. And then I'll leave here just the raw food, which is going to be used for production of other foods. And I do need to add a kitchen at some point because I'm currently still just using this place to make meals. And I am placing my items here in the open. I mean, yeah, they're not very fresh because they're out here and they should be turned into food. So somebody will have to deal with that. But as I was saying, I need somebody to actually take care of these items and it seems this guy will finally do it on his own. I don't even have to push him. But one thing that I do have to keep pushing is for them to build this. But oh, lol and behold, it's being done on their own. That's cool. Two points for you, folks. You beat me to two things before I even forced you to do it. But this is definitely something that has to be forced. So let's see. I am not sure who was it who has great cooking. You do and you're currently hungry. Okay, so I'll let you eat and then once you've eaten and while on the subject of eating, has this become a great haul? It has, excellent. This has become a great haul. I've added the torches in the previous episode, the one that was the last non-voiced episode and now when they eat here, I should be getting a nice buff in their mood. There we go, eight in a great haul and that's excellent. Okay, so that has become a great hole and currently it is used as a storage for some food that isn't placed here and isn't spent here. As for the barley, it is being used to create ale on all four of these. And I do have a certain amount of barley that's going to go up if I manage to get a harvest out of this area here in six days. Now, they are sleeping in the afternoon. This is because of my new schedule where they have sleep two times. Now, the reason why I have put the leisure time before each sleep time is because as one of my subscribers has said, and I'll put their nickname here below on the screen, that you need leisure time so that they will be close to their beds when it's time for them to go to sleep. Because if it's work, they could be somewhere far off away and then you would constantly have the problems that you saw me fixing in my previous episodes where, for example, somebody should be sleeping at 20 hours, but they are working 18, 19, and they are stuck working something throughout 20, 21, and then I have to manually put them to sleep between 22, 23, and 1, so that they will get those four hours of sleep. And that is something that this way, by placing these leisure activities just before sleep, fixes and helps out with that. So thank you once again, my subscribers, for giving me such great tips. So now that they are awake, I need to have somebody who's good, like I said, I think that's this person, yep, he's good at cooking, to actually cook all the meals, but he's going to pray because he has some leisure time now. Yeah, it's because it's the afternoon, 11 to 13, he has some leisure time. So I'll wait for him to finish his leisure time. There we go, plus four because he entered the church and then he'll probably get four, was it eight? Let's see, was it four or eight? It just needs fulfilled plus five because he was here, but I think it should be no, nothing additional, but okay, that's enough. So I'll have him prioritize production and this is meals with not barley, not red currants, but cabbage, carrots and beets I have chosen not to use because I was using up the carrots because they rot faster, but considering all carrots have been used, I can now use beet and that's maybe the reason why he wasn't making anything out of this because red currants are hmm, actually i have stopped using them for the rough wine meaning that i should have given the order to make food out of them yes so he basically didn't have any ingredients available because i didn't let him that was my bad okay and because i do have a great hole now i need to get rid of these chairs this table and i also need to get rid of wait isn't it k okay. So why is nothing happening? I click on a chair and press K. Actually, it is happening. I just don't see the icon. Okay. And also the back of my tables, I need to get rid of them as I have made a game room up here in before the temple. 
and therefore that once it's all cleaned up I can turn this place into a kitchen and it's going to be a great spot for a kitchen because right here they have this nice path into my food cellar and this is where they will keep their food but also some of it here the ones that don't rot too fast so it's really good that you can see which foods rot faster and then you can have those foods close to where you're producing food even though it's a hot room and then the foods who rot faster put them down here so that they don't rot as fast although some red currants are stuck here even though they should not be here at least i don't think they should be here let's see it all no, I did allow red currants here, so I'm going to disable this so that no red currants are kept here and they then do not get... What? What? It's convalescing. What exactly is happening here? Severe concussion. From what? Expires in 40 hours. It's strange. I'm not sure how he gained this. Was it in a battle? But no, I don't think... Actually, one person did get hit in the last battle. Maybe that's from then. I'll have to recheck the other recordings to see what exactly happened here. But hopefully somebody will take care of him. Although, I don't think... Oh, I actually do have 24 simple healing kits. So just somebody should have a high tent priority. So, example her. And she should tend to him. I think this is something that can be healed. Oh, so she's doing it. Okay. And her skill that medicine is nine and with two stars okay that's excellent so that should do the trick and as they have cleaned this up except this one chair i can now make this into an actual closed room now the reason why i have been closing off all of these rooms is because winter is going to be here soon and i don't want them freezing their asses off in these open rooms so now that this is going to be closed i don't think actually i have enough wood because i haven't cut a lot of wood so I will definitely need to first cut down some wood before I am able to finish off closing off all of these rooms. There aren't that many dead trees. I prefer to cut the dead trees first. Alright, so that about does it. They should have a lot of cutting down tasks and I can start planning how to close up this room. Now, because I want them to have close access to food, I am going to place several doors. But doors are kind of problematic because you can't really set a door until you get rid of the wooden beam so the first thing that i'm going to actually put are the walls and just leave empty slots where the doors are going to be so let's see a door if it's going to be here then these are going to be the walls and then i could have a doorway back over here let's say over here close this up and i should have a door on practically every side just to make sure that they have a way to go to wherever they need to while they're in this room so let's say a door here so this is going to be closed off and then i'll destroy the wooden beams once they are shortened to just this length here for the door and then make the doors and close off this room but inside i need to create a kitchen and to have a kitchen as you know from my other guides where i showed you how specialized rooms are made link up here and below i am going to put the wall pottery shelves because that's a necessary element to create a kitchen and also a butchering table which I'm going to place here and then at the end what is necessary is a heart now let's see limestone, iron ingots, limestone bricks or clay bricks I don't really have the clay bricks so I'm gonna go with the limestone heart I could go with the brick one but I honestly need the bricks for construction so I'm going to just go with the standard limestone i mean it's not like i'm going to get anything special out of it it's just a little bit different in hit points but it's totally fine and i will place it over here so now that they're making these walls i can get rid of these things if i can click on them that's a little bit problematic sometimes yeah I, i'm not sure oh maybe if i go up there we go so I'll just have to wait a little bit till they take these down so I can actually make doorways and then finish off this room. Okay, I'll give them some time. How are they going with the cutting? Yeah, they've cut down a lot with the digging, mining. Actually, nothing seems to have been mined here. That's probably because mining is nobody's primary job. So we got four, two, four, seven, not bad, zero, three, 13 and 12 so if i were to put you to one 
you would not be doing smithing, but not no smithing is being done currently. Convalescing or tending. Oh, you are the steward and the holder as well as the smith. So that's okay. When it comes to research, now that you mention it, well, you didn't mention it. I just thought of it. Yeah, he's doing it. Okay. And how much do I have? 36 of these and 40 of these. Okay, so I should probably tell him to do some more of these now. So let's go like forever and then reduce these down to 41 because that's how many I already have. Actually, let's go with 42 because he'll make one more. I should be able to research something advanced like defensive structures for the metal traps, fletching, but I am kind of thinking preserving food, fermenting, furniture too, because this will also unlock some nice new things like the chests. And I do want to use some of those new items for storage in this playthrough, in this episode that is. So research level 3, not necessary at the moment. Armorer, that wouldn't be a bad thing considering this is survival mode. But like I said, I'm gonna go with furniture, so I'll be unlocking that. So let's see, when it comes to furniture, now I should have unlocked the shelves. There are the weapon racks, the chests, bookshelves, two variants, weapon racks, armor racks, chests, and the shelves. So I'll use all of those, but first, like I said, I need to make sure that my structures and rooms are ready for winter because autumn is speeding through. And I don't have that much iron to be making these iron braziers all over the place because they are kind of expensive. And I've already used up some of my iron for other things and my mining isn't that done so often. Who, So the tailor cutting off plants and mining is not something you're... Yeah, and you're doing construction as well. Okay, so somebody else who doesn't have a very necessary job should do some mining, but to also have a skill this would be seven hunting research yeah he's doing research so yeah it's probably going to be his domain blake to do the mining and then this person should help him out from time to time okay so i will definitely not be getting any more iron nuggets so the braziers that i'm going to be making are definitely gonna be out of clay but they could be out of clay bricks at least they don't really have to be out of simple clay. So I'll improve with this, 5 foot, 10 clay, it's bricks, and that's okay if somebody keeps forcing this to make more, but no, they are all sleeping, so nobody's gonna do that soon. Okay, never mind, I'll have them do that later, but as I said, I need some clay braziers. So I'm going to need at least one over here in this room, even though there is a kitchen here which is going to provide the heat but it is going to be cold otherwise okay this room definitely won't be needing any heat because these things are providing huge amount of heat and it's all the time at 25 degrees so other rooms this one doesn't really need to because nobody's living here here they are playing so definitely need a brazier here they are praying need a brazier here also praying need a brazier here they are working from time to time, need a brazier. Here they are working, this does produce heat, but that is only occasional. So I'm going to put a brazier here and probably going to need two because of the size of the room. And that seems about it, unless I need a brazier down here because it might be rather cold in here when it hits winter. I will actually leave it to such and we'll see what happens once winter hits. In the latest update, they've changed how these wooden floorings and their thermal insulation interacts with the temperature. So currently, this room has the temperature of 5.6 degrees, while over here, in this room, we have the temperature of 2.1. So as more of these get destroyed, I should have a drop in temperature, but this place is really warm, so keeping my raw ingredients here might not be such a good idea. Let's see, decomposing 24 days, 17 days, Although I think they'll make food out of these much faster than they'll manage to decompose. I could go with lavish meals perhaps because I'm not using up my herbs for beer as I'm producing ale. So I could go with lavish meals, just disable the use of wood in cooking and have them do that forever and therefore I can get rid of this thing. So I should be good with those meals. Although I don't have that many herbs, I should find some herbs in nature and then I'll be able to make more of those meals. I could hunt a little bit before winter strikes to get some meat, although I already have 265 stew for like seven settlers or so. I don't really think it would be necessary. 
So I found about a dozen nodes of herbs along the perimeter of my village and somebody should go and pick those up soon and that should be enough to have me making lavish meals out of the food that I have and I will be harvesting more before winter strikes more carrots and more beets. Somebody does need to take care of making more clay bricks because I'm going to run out of making all of these clay brick braziers and let's see who's good at construction. You are. What are you going for enjoying entertainment? Oh, it's your leisure time schedule right now. So 15 and that once she plays that game, I should be able to send her to prioritize production. Okay, go prioritize production with more clay bricks. I think I managed to build all of the clay braziers that I wanted to build before I ran out. So that's good. I'm at 180 limestone bricks. I'm almost out of limestone. And I think that my miner He's actually not mining limestone up there, but he's over here digging the rest of this food basement, which is okay considering that this food basement has much higher temperature now. It could be down to the torches also because of the addition for the great hole as the flames radiate heat. So that's probably the reason why this room has gone up in temperature, but that's okay as I can increase the size of this room and have my raw ingredients here. So always you have to be prepared to change your plans according to the situation. So I'll extend this and then just add more. What was I using here? Clay bricks, clay brick flooring. Okay. As soon as that's ready, I'll extend it over here. Now, by the way, he's digging this. What was that? Was that iron? No, that's salt actually. Okay. I'll have to have a stockpile for that as well. He's going to dig quite a lot of limestone and clay which is excellent because I need those two resources to make the bricks out of them. I'm going to let the salt be here, so that's a material if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, and that should be okay for that. I think the concussion is still lasting. Yeah, severe concussion, minor, nine hours left to go to suffer with that. Okay, so here I'm actually having this stockpile and I have some bones and ashes, but from time to time I force them to move them over here. They don't really mind the ashes and the bones, so there's no need to move them right away. I hope before winter they are going to get a lot more wood cut because I should have some more mature trees close by. Now I'm not sure exactly where am I placing all that wood because I don't really have special stockpiles for that. I think I need to change this one while I'm talking about stockpiles and oh my god I forgot the doorways. Wait, why hasn't this been deconstructed? This thing here, this wooden beam, isn't supposed... To, why isn't this responding to K? I'm pressing K on my keyboard, but nothing seems to be happening. I'm not sure why that is so. This wooden beam also should have been deconstructed. And this one here as well. So I'm definitely having some issue with the commands not being registered. Yeah, this wooden beam here should finally be gone. Therefore, I can add the doorways here, here, and the last one. If I can have my camera zoomed in, there we go. So that should finally become a kitchen. Yeah, I totally forgot about the fact that they didn't actually do all their jobs to tear down those wooden beams. Not sure what happened there, but as I was saying, a place for all the wood. Now, I do have some spots like here. That will take wood. No, actually this place does not take wood. Okay, so where should I be having a place for wood? It could be that I don't really have a specified place. Well, except this one. Although there should not be wood here because I'm just using the sticks. So wood, wood. Yeah, I definitely need to find a spot. I think I can put it in the kitchen as for some of it. I can stay here and then I'll put other stockpiles for wood in other places. So I'll change this to clear all material being wood. Oh, they've actually added the little pictures of these materials here as well. I haven't even noticed that it's probably part of the last update. There we go. This became a kitchen. Now this flooring is currently wood, but I need it to be these bricks so that they will use this path as a road. So I'll add these here, although yeah, that requires more bricks and nobody is working on that. Okay, so you prioritize production on that. 
and somebody needs to prioritize production on this because two of these are not working and two will be finished soon and a cook has to get this done okay so this last room has been closed off and i do have braziers now in all the other rooms actually this one wasn't finished because there weren't enough clay bricks so that should what how did i click on deconstructing these oh my god yeah it's one of the only things that really annoys me with this game no actually i think these broke when i tore down those huh actually i'm not sure how these broke wait so the doors are everywhere and yet this spot here doesn't have stability so one 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 and one huh how about that why did i lose stability on this oh wait was there a beam here no it couldn't be i wouldn't destroy this spot it's interesting wait so four three two one this should be oh this is two not wait what why is there lower stability here so the doorway is four and yet this one is two one and zero this is very odd let's see what happens if i tear these down and start a new one huh very interesting development i'm going to try to remember what i was doing before this happened so let's see what's going to happen so one two three how about that stability three stability two stability one i think i'm missing a bed that was here one two three four five six seven beds one two three four five six seven eight people so i'm definitely missing a bed that was here and got ruined as i was losing stability on this spot yeah that was definitely not a good thing that that happened no 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 wait what did i click on now i hate it when that happens for some reason you're managing a layer underneath and then you end up clicking on something else somewhere above very annoying when that happens okay and then finish the road here so that's a lot of indoor roads why is this meal still here oh because i have not allowed it down here probably yeah that's probably what happened so food a meal yeah there we go lavish meal has to have a place to go and this has to be expanded further to have room for all those meals and hopefully soon this will all be mined out okay so day five i've closed up all the rooms i am soon going to have braziers in all of them this should finish up soon i'm probably gonna need more than one kill yeah that's probably something i should have done long ago so i'm going to add one more kill turn it well it's probably best to turn it like this it's closer to the road yeah i'll put it like this so that should speed up the production yeah somebody is not doing their job none of these are working are you sleeping yeah he's sleeping he is probably the only person doing the cooking and there well yeah this one should be but he's mining this one is harvesting and this one is constructing yeah nobody's helping that person do the cooking so with this one having one star all the other ones no stars oh well, let's just lower this down even further and then have this one be the cook at once so between the construction and the cooking he should help out with the production of ale at least for a while so that would be lota okay so i'll have her do the ale because it doesn't require any culinary skill and she'll level up her skill with the one star faster than the other ones with no stars and i was probably doing something yeah places to store wood i added one here and i am going to see if i can find any spots where i can do so as well i should probably change this so that there is a path between the doors that doesn't have anything on it well actually no then that destroys it no i'm going to extend it here and then leave the spot for the door there we go and this i can actually reduce and i should probably make yeah i'll I'll make those during the winter, those shelves and bookshelves and clothing uh, and uh, armor racks and weapon racks because that will be something they'll do indoors and currently I need them to do a lot of other jobs that are outdoors. So that's the reason why I'm not 
doing that at the moment. So place four wood to stockpile. I could stockpile it in the temples, even though it's not really a cool place to do it at. But there's so much room here that I took for this temple, probably too much. Could have organized this better, but yeah, I'm definitely going to use the spot here for some wood and let's see materials wood and I could probably do it here as well a little stockpile in this actually stockpile so F7 so over here somebody told me why don't I copy them well I don't copy them because for some reason it usually doesn't even work I mean I'm going to wait why are there no icons now weird okay so let's try and copy this copy settings Oh, because I was copying it the wrong way. Once again, my subscribers are telling me how to do something I keep doing wrongly. Thank you very much. So, some wood can be stopped here and then I just say paste. No, but you see, it doesn't want to listen to me. Okay, stockpile, copy. Go to stockpile, paste. Oh, there it is. So, you cannot copy make a stockpile paste you have to make both stockpiles set the settings on one copy it and then paste it to the other okay so, well that's kind of not very good but i'll have to live with that over here there is enough room for another stockpile so yeah make a stockpile go to a previous stockpile copy the settings go to a new one and then paste the settings. There we go. Okay, I'll get used to that. So I have enough beds here now. Research is available. I could go with something else, but I should probably tell him to make more of this type of research as well. So let's go to 62 and this forever. And okay, so no room here for wood. They would be slowed down if I put wood. And right, there is something that I was suggested to do a long, long time ago. Wait. Oh, check this out! Hair caucuses? This is something I wanted to show you in a separate video, but I might as well do it now. You see, I've got four hair here stuck on these traps. It's because animals will get caught on traps. And this will be a feature in one of my next guides about how to trap animals most efficiently. But here's a beautiful example. I just got hairs here trapped and I don't even have to hunt for them. I'll pass them on to here, caucuses animal wolf hair deer and then i'll have this one do production for forever and then i'll just catch somebody who can actually do some cooking to get those hairs moved no not period oh but huh am i going to be able to click on these that's questionable let's see what happens so right click right click. nope 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 nothing so far hmm this could be a problem if I can click on it. So you can have a hair, but you can't get him. Hmm. Let's see. No, definitely not working out. How about if I were to... No, definitely not happening. Okay, I'll take the villager and draft them. Send them over here. And then... Yeah. I was hoping they would do it themselves. Okay, let's deconstruct the trap and see what happens with the hare's body. Can I now... Why is this... There we go, priority is falling to stop. So I'll have to actually first decompose, deconstruct these traps. And then I'll be able to get the hair bodies. Well, that's an unnecessary step that's actually taking too much time to be automated. So for my video about how to get animals stuck in traps and how to get them, I am probably going to need to think about how to fix that problem of having to deconstruct traps to actually get those animals. So prioritize hauling to stockpile and then go back and fix up those traps which you have torn down. Stick trap here, stick that trap and here. Now to get back to the original point that I wanted to make, as one of my subscribers has said, if you take the fields of food and find yourself some tall grass, you can put the tall grass in between the traps and thus will slow down your enemies as they converge. See, the hare almost got captured on that trap, but he just activated it without actually working and getting him. 
but next time little one. So as I was trying to say, if you put the grass all over here between the traps, the grass will slow down your enemies as they converge on your defensive position. Now this is something that might become obsolete as more archers attack you, but while you're fighting melee ones, it's a really cool tactic to actually slow them down by placing tall grass in between your traps and slowing down your enemies so you can shoot at them for longer. So once again, thank you my subscribers for such great ideas. Okay, so that's all there, but I don't think that's gonna be until probably summer or, well, that's not going to be grown until spring, but that's something for next year, I guess. And of course, if that grass gets destroyed during winter and you get attacked during winter, it's not going to help you that much. But for the other seasons, it's a really cool way of helping you out to fight your enemies. Now, I think this is about it that I was planning to do. I can take a look. So this is a okay stockpile over here. I have run out of barley and the next harvesting is two days. So I could use some red currants, but I don't really have any other sources of food unless this soon ripens to make lavish meals. So yeah, I'll switch this over to red currants for a while for rough wine while I'm waiting for new barley and then that means disabling the red currants from being used in cooking lavish meals. So ale, no, disable the ale, go with the rough wine and over here rough wine. And when these two finish I'll go over to rough wine as well. I don't think I have any red currants to pick up close by. I do have a lot of wood and sticks that I need to combine into these stockpiles. And I'm probably going to need a larger stockpile at this point. Oh, the second kiln finished. Excellent. So make more. Are you going to be prioritizing on that? Please do. So this place sticks. This place is just clay, limestone and iron nuggets. Okay. So do I have any more spots where I could collect some more wood? Not really. Although here, no, not there, not there. Not really. Well, actually here I could do some. So the default stockpile and then copy the settings from here and then paste them over to here. There we go. So with all of these, I should have enough room for all the wood that I'm going to soon have. And if not, I can always put some wood over. <laughs> actually, I could have just. <laughs> yeah, that was that was me being funny. I could have just used this whole place here and then had yeah i didn't really have to do all these small ones i had plenty of space down here where i could have just made that and i can even add the sticks in if they do not have enough spots up here okay so that's that situation fixed over here they've almost dug this entire place and most of it is already used so you should probably are these mm hmm I have extended the stockpile, but I have not placed clay brick uh, roads underneath. Well, not roads, I mean tiles, so food doesn't go bad. So I'll place these, but for that I do need somebody to use the kilns. There we go. So this will finish now and this is almost done. So who was it you were hauling to stockpile? What are you hauling? Hauling that, okay, and now go and do the baking in this kiln. Now I know that I do a lot of these things manually, but I simply have to force some things to be done sooner rather than later. So do we by any chance have captured any more hair? Nope. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Okay. And has this been butchered? Yeah, they have been butchered. So I should be able to make some more lavish meals out of meat. And do I have enough herbs? I have giving them the order to pick up those herbs, so I'm hoping that they have done so. There were like a dozen around my village, which I've harvested, hopefully. So wait, where are my herbs located at? They are over here, no? Hmm, maybe I should put them here. I don't think they will go bad that quickly. They are a material or food, wait, herbs, herbs, herbs. Oh, there's a new one here <laughs> and that's another update I didn't notice. 
So it's under medicine now, herbs. And that means over here where I have my, yeah, see medicine, herbs, simple advanced healing. And over here, I'll let them put more herbs. And we'll see if they rot in here because of the temperature or not, because the temperature is five degrees. We'll see how that affects the herbs. If they start rotting, I'll move them to the other more underground and deeper food basement. Oh, they actually match to put the tall grass in here. It's just not gonna grow yet, but interestingly enough, autumn day sixth and they've managed to plant a lot of this tall grass. I did not expect that to happen in autumn, but cool enough, it did. So I pretty much cut down most of these trees, which I planted myself around my village, but I will cut down the rest now. And therefore I should have plenty of sticks and wood for the entire winter to be doing internal decorations with all the items like the racks, for weapons and armor, the bookshelves, and the shelves. Now, I had planned, as I said, during this video to do that in this episode, but I think this episode is already going on for far too long. So I'm going to do this nice shot here and show you the village as it is now, and then we'll continue playing this in the next episode. Thank you all for watching, and please stay tuned for more.